Hey, 420 MSP, Harry back with Blake out of Colorado Springs. Blake, first of all, thanks for being an ongoing analyst. I mean, we're, we're well over a year of meeting up with you monthly. You're a busy man running a successful company. So we appreciate your time each month to uh, just give us some wisdom. Um, what I want to talk about this month is... Uh, it, your your one company has uh, a, a background as an MSP serving um, the education market. So, you know, you, you have visibility into what that area looks like. And then the company we're talking about today would concern the Canatech play that you have. And I'm looking at a couple articles in uh, Gondrepreneur and for the state of Colorado. And uh, maybe, maybe you can just offer some opinions, but there's uh, the taxes that the taxes that are raised from the sale of uh, cannabis in the legal market, in part fund education, and there's this program called Build Excellent Schools Today, Best a statewide competitive grant program funded by cannabis taxes, Colorado Lottery, and so on, and there's they're they're going on to say, 36 projects. Uh, totaling $235 uh, million, real money, will uh, be funded um, from BEST. So what, go, what's your thinking about the, what, what, what do you know to be true on taxation and diverting the tax funds to education? Yeah, I, I like looking at this article because the, the numbers, you know, you, you hear the emotions that no, none of it's going to schools or whatever. And, and sure, there's absolutely, I mean, if it's, uh, well, how many schools was it? 40 schools or? Um, uh, and, 67 applicants. And it looks like it's early yeah. days. They're, they're just starting to roll it out. Yeah. yeah. Now the best, the best grant program has been around for a long time to, to really help schools, um, you know, um, get money for projects and stuff. So that grant's been around for a while. Um, but that there's 67 that applied means that the money's out there, but, schools that are not benefiting from from the best grant are the ones that are not applying for it so it's that thing if you get out there and apply you can take advantage of of this and you can get funding or at least have the opportunity to get funding um i don't know how many schools there are in colorado um, but it's a, it's way more than 67 so that means all these other did not apply and so can't complain that they they don't have any of this cannabis money yeah yeah exactly and there's a, a second piece so that was sort of the big article. Let me go to the second piece. Um, yeah, just south of you, Pueblo County, Colorado, uh, is awarding 2.3 million in scholarships to local students using cannabis-derived taxes. And um, I don't see a reference to the best program. This is apparently yeah, that was a, something other than the best the best grant. And I didn't see that article, but yeah, they can do uh, scholarships um, and also Pueblo, uh, 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 CSU Pueblo has a number of, uh, of, of cannabis classes and stuff. So um, it's, a, it, it's a happening place in Colorado to be done in uh, Pueblo in this industry. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Well, I'll tell you what, we'll, we'll cut it short this month. I just, each month I like to double click into some local stories, you know, where, where you're domiciled. Um, quickly, uh, back on the MSP side, tell us, uh, you have a show coming up in Denver. I'm always interested in what's going on in the industry. So you said next week, uh, what, what, what's happening? Yes. It's the first, first live event. So back at end of February, beginning of March, uh, the channel company had a, an event in, uh, in San Antonio. We went and it was kind of weird that a couple of vendors had canceled Intel and the web had canceled, uh, due to coronavirus. And it was still way, way early back then. Um, that was the last trip I was on. And so you fast forward now. And, and so uh, um, there's a meeting up in Westminster. They do a conference of MSPs. And so instead of doing it one location in the country, they've now, uh, I don't know how many different places, five or 10 different places, they, they have a bunch of people, a bunch of MSPs getting together. So it should be good. Get some vendors in there, see some people we haven't seen in, in seven or eight months. And, uh, um, and and have a conference cookie, and but a, a conference cookie format. They have, they they have uh, like fifteen people in a ballroom instead of fifteen people in a in a in a conference room, um, and so everybody is at least six feet apart while they're sitting at the the, the horseshoe table, um, 
and then there's some strict rules on social distancing and everything else so cool yeah let us know how it goes that's uh that's interesting so uh all right blake thanks thanks for your time all right thanks harry